Hi everybody, so I'm here at home and I realized I don't have any shakers. Actually, I don't have that much percussion and I was thinking about doing a lesson with you where we could use shakers, um, but I don't have any. So I was over here at my spice cabinet because I'm doing a lot of cooking and I realized I actually have a ton of shakers at home and they're all in my spice cabinet. So I'm gonna show you and if you have if you're allowed to use your spice cabinet, you can shake with these shakers or parents, if you want to do this with your kid, that would be a great activity to, to do together, to listen to the different sounds that your spice shakers make. So I'm gonna show you some of mine. Here they are. So the best one, well, my favorite, I shouldn't say it's the best, is this pepper grinder. And it's really easy to hold. And it makes a very cool sound. And it makes me, for some reason, think of that song about the car. I've got a car that's made of tin. Nobody knows what shape I'm in. Got four wheels and a running board. I'm a Ford, yes, I'm a Ford. Honk, honk, rattle, 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 crash, beep, beep. Honk, honk, rattle, 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 crash, beep, beep. So you could find other sounds in your house that make the honk, honk and the crash and the beep, beep sound. But this is a good rattle. Here is another one. This is really rattly. It's actually some mint tea. So there's a couple ways you can shake this. You can go like this on the side if you have something like this. Or if you have even a glass jar and you put um, tea leaves or um, what else could you use? You could use rice, you can use lentils, you can use, and then make sure you're saving them for cooking too. You go like this, it makes one sound if you go on its side, and then you can go like this. And it makes a different kind of sound if you turn it. And this is something for the little littles, twos and threes, that's gonna be a little hard to do, but it doesn't matter. You just play around with it, experiment, see how it sounds. And there's really, soft sounds like this. This is some, I can't even tell you what spice this is, but this makes a really quiet sound. It's pretty great. So those are, oh, and let me just show you this one. Um, fennel in a glass jar. Super quiet. You could even use that for a lullaby. So that's my spice cabinet shaker lesson. I hope you find some awesome sounds and I'm going to do a whole recording of that song, honk honk, rattle rattle, rattle crash, beep beep, for you to use. So have fun at home with what you have. We have so much. This is a great lesson in that. Okay, keep making music.